Good afternoon, my name is Jim Tassi. I'm the Assistant Director of the Bicycle Coalition of Maine, and I'm happy to be here in Congress Square to talk about the City of Portland's new repair stations uh, and parking. We don't have parking to show you here, but there are three other uh, repair stations scattered around the city. There's one here in Congress Square, there's one at the Metro Pulse uh, station on Elm Street, and there's another one just east of uh, India Street on the Eastern Prom. Uh, both the parking and the repair stands are the result of an effort between uh, the City of Portland and the Portland Downtown, uh, which got a community development block grant and was able to purchase um, the repair stands and a, a number of bicycle uh, parking corrals, which you'll see around the city as well. Uh, the entire effort is intended to support multimodal transportation in the city. If you've driven a car in the city lately, you you may have noticed that uh, congestion can be a problem sometimes, finding parking can be difficult, and um, the city is interested in trying to encourage people to come into the city another way. Um, there's a campaign going on right now called uh, Drive Less, Do More, uh, that is really trying to show that you can get around the city without a car, using a bicycle, uh, transit buses, or just you know using your feet and walking. Um, and in many cases, any of those options is faster than actually getting in your car and struggling with a parking spot. Each of the city's repair stands includes a pump, so you can put a little air in your tires if you need to. It includes a rack that you can hang your bike on. You can hang it from the uh, top tube, or you can also hang it from the seat post. I like uh, the top tube in this case because I want the bike level for what we're going to be doing a little later. Um, the tools that come on the stand include a 32 millimeter headset wrench and a 15 millimeter cone wrench and these are for adjusting the headset on this bike and as well as potentially adjusting um, a loose uh, hub bearing. We have two tire levers so if you needed to remove uh, your tire uh, to get at your tube whether to replace the tube or patch it these will help you to work a, uh, a tight tire bead off. We have two box wrenches in the most common sizes that are needed for bicycles. Um, so this has an 8, 9, 10, and 11 set of wrenches. Um, so that'll take care of tightening most of the, uh, the nuts that you might need to tighten on a bicycle. We have a, um, a classic straight screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. And we have a complete Allen key set that includes uh, larger sizes for folks who have um, um, a bolted uh, crank. You're able to torque those on a little bit more using the big guys and these smaller ones which are already getting used I see are used for tightening some of the spots on the bicycle that have hex keys.